Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently it has been reported that Embraer has offered A29B Super to Cano light aircraft to India. The company has said that the aircraft is well suited for the missions in and around Indian borders. The A29 Super to Cano is marketed as the most reliable and cost-effective solution for basic and advanced flight and combat training, close air support operations, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions, armed overwatch, counter-insurgency and irregular warfare scenarios. The A29 is the only light aircraft in the world with a US Air Force military type certificate. The aircraft ensures low operational and sustainment costs. It is built in US by Sierra Nevada Corporation and its partner Embraer Defense and Security. The A29 has been selected by 15 Air Forces worldwide including US Air Force, Afghanistan and Lebanon. Philippines and Nigerian Air Force became the most recent operator of this aircraft in the world. The A29 is a versatile and powerful turboprop aircraft and is known for its rugged and durable design which allows it to perform day and night missions from remote bases and unpaved runways with minimal ground support. The company has said that the aircraft is well suited for missions in and around Indian borders and for quine operation. The Super Tucano is powered by one Pratt & Whitney Canada PTS-6A68C turboprop engine which can generate power of 1196 kW. It is a two-seat in tandem on Martin Baker MK 10 LCX00 ejection seats. The aircraft has maximum takeoff weight of 5400 kg, maximum speed of 590 km per hour, range of 1330 km and endurance of 8 hours 24 minutes. It can carry two 12.7 mm gun or M3P machine gun fixed mounted internally on each wings. It has five hard points, two under the each wing and one under fuselage center line with a capacity of 1550 kg. It can carry four pot 70 mm rockets, various air to air missile like AIM 9L Sidewinder, MMA 1A Piranha, Python 3 and 4. In air to ground role, it can also carry various general purpose bombs and guided munition. Overall, there is no doubt about the capabilities of the aircraft in its category. However, the question is, should India opt for it or do we have an indigenous option? The answer is yes, we do and it's STT-40. The first prototype of STT-40 trainer was rolled out from Aircraft Research and Design Center ARTC hangar in February 2016. The STT-40 trainer made its first flight in May 2016. Back in May, 2020, the then Chief of Air Staff, Arkes Baduria, has told Indian Air Force plan to acquire 450 fighters in next 15 years. Indian Air Force plans to acquire 83 LCMK-1A, approximately 100 LCMK-2, 6 squadrons of MK, 36 Rafales, 114 MRCA and 70 SGT-40 trainer. In August same year, DAC chaired by Defence Minister Sri Rajnath Singh has approved 106 STT-40 for Indian Air Force. On February 4, 2021, during the Aero India show, HL has received an RFP for 70 STT-40 from Indian Air Force with additional clause of 38 more. The aircraft will be produced by two manufacturing units of HL at Bengaluru and Nasik. On 4 August 2021, HL announced the STT-40 had completed the spin certification flight testing. It has already demonstrated 10 ton spins and ready for operational clearance. STT-40 is all metal tandem seat aircraft with a bubble canopy and a tail T configuration. It features a retractable tricycle landing gear system with a steering nose wheel. The aircraft will be primarily used for basic flight training, aerobatics, instrument flying and close formation flights. It is also well suited for missions in and around Indian borders and for coin operations. The aircraft is powered by Honeywell's Carat TPE-3315 
turboprop engine which is also being manufactured, overhauled and repaired by HL under the license from Garrett Engine Division of Honeywell. The same engine is also used in Donier Do228 aircraft. There is an interesting story behind the name of STT-40. The aircraft can deliver 40 hours of flying for the same cost and F-16 or MiG-29 can deliver in just one hour which kind of explains why the plane gets the number in its name. The aircraft can strap guns and bombs and get into combat mode when there is need for one. It can fly up to 600 km per hour and reach an altitude of 6 km. With a maximum takeoff weight of 2800 kg, the trainer can be configured to carry a gun, rocket or bombs to perform light combat or counter insurgency operations. The pilot's PC-7 trainer operated by Indian Air Force has costed Air Force approximately 37 crore while the STT-40 is estimated to cost around 33 crore. STT-40 features more than 60% of indigenous content. If we compare the overall capabilities of Super Tucano with STT-40, the Super Tucano is a powerful aircraft with varieties of weapons at its bay. At the same time, S-340 is an indigenous platform and needless to stress on the importance of self-reliance in defense. Super Tecano makes more sense for the countries with low defense budget who cannot afford light or medium combat aircraft. Super Tecano lies somewhere between S-340 and LCA Tejas. Therefore, it does not make sense for India to procure this aircraft as it has already placed an order of 123 LCA Tejas and 70 STT-40 will soon be placed. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.